Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kinsthetic with the Kinsthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new vlog. So, another weekly vlog, another week, another vlog or whatever. Today is Friday, November 19th, and I literally just finished last week's vlog, but it was too long, so I'm like, let me go ahead and start a new vlog. So, today's Friday. Happy Friday, and I'm about to go get my nails done, so I soaked my nails off at home. I soaked my SNS off, and I'm about to go get them done. I want to do French again, but I don't know if my nails are too short. I don't remember the length they were the last time I did it. But I'm going to get my nails done, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. Before we get into this vlog, make sure you guys subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, turn your post notifications on because Vlogmas is coming up. I have great content coming for you guys. It's Friday, and y'all know that the Jamaicans be running to the nail salon as soon as they are dismissed from work, so I'm about to run to the nail salon so I can beat that crowd, hopefully, fingers crossed. So yeah, let me go ahead and get dressed so I can head out. Hey guys, so I'm back home. My nails are done. So I just ran my French situation back. So this is SNS dip powder in the color dark pink. And I did the French with, well, I didn't do it, but she did the French with regular polish, like gel polish. And then. So I looks I am in love with it. This is my new like signature nail situation. So when y'all see me with French tips for the remainder of 2021 and 2022, I told y'all this is my new jam. But I wanted to get on here real quick because my life. My life. <laughs> so first issue that occurred today, because in last week's vlog I told you guys like everything that could have went wrong today went wrong. So boom. Got my new iPhone, the iPhone 12. I got this, what, like three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. And I love it. Great phone. Quality of pictures, amazing quality of videos, spectacular. But when I first got my phone, the thing that I did first was I put the screen protector on it. Because I don't play about screens. I hate seeing a cracked phone screen. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on that. But I put the screen protector on. And then the next day my case came after I got my phone. Because I did my phone like same day delivery. Boom. Cool. So when I was setting up my phone I tried to set up the face ID and it wasn't working. So I'm like I'm not sure if the phone is defective or what. But it was a brand new phone. So I was confused like why is the face ID not allowing me to set it up. I had my glasses on. I took my glasses off. I had my little thing. I took it down. I tried to wear my hair out. It still didn't work. I said oh we have a real problem on our hands Apple. So... I finally remembered to reach out to Apple to try to get an appointment like at the Genius Bar because at this point I'm just like I just want a new phone. <laughs> so I'm chatting with the lady on the computer. She's telling me like oh try these steps. If they don't work then we'll look into like getting you service like in store. I said okay cool. So she asked me to update my phone. I updated my phone. She asked me to restart my phone. I restarted my phone. Same issue occurring. So she sends me an article of like things to do like to troubleshoot the issue I was having. Girl. And the article was showing like where the face ID sensors are. And let me tell y'all what I did because I felt like such a dumbass. Like you know when you do some dumb shit and you just like did I really do that? Like 
did my educated self really just do that that's just how i felt so the screen protector i have on my iphone 12 is actually an iphone 13 screen protector it's my 13 so what had happened was i lost my phone thought i left my phone in the nail salon but you guys see on i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see but on the iphone 13 the camera is here y'all can see that it's right here boom on the iphone 12 the camera is over here and basically the sensors are like here so since the screen protector on the 12 that's actually for the 13 comes out i don't know if y'all can see since it comes out it's basically covering the sensors so what I had to do is I had to take my screen protector off the phone. So now my screen protector looks like this because I went ahead and put it back on. It looks very crusty, but it's going to stay on until my real one comes. But the issue was basically that I had the iPhone 13 screen protector on the iPhone 12 and it was blocking our sensors. So I felt like a dummy. Then little things were occurring today that were just like getting to me, but I was just like, girl, what can you do? so yeah i feel like i'm better now my nails are done i feel good so i'm about to finish editing sunday's vlog right now because i finished recording that and i'm going to upload it and then i'm going to clean my room because i did a lot of laundry I'm proud of myself i did a lot of laundry and i need to pack it away it's already like halfway folded and then i'm going to eat and plan my weekend so i know tomorrow i want to wake up early work out and then I want to go somewhere to do work because I was thinking about it and I'm like, I've been home doing work since before the pandemic because my job is 100% work from home even before the pandemic. So I'm like, I need like a different place and especially with the work that I'm going to be doing, it's like more like brainstorming and like planning. I just feel like I need to be in a different space physically. So I'm gonna pack my bag and go to a Starbucks tomorrow. And I also wanna stop at Nordstrom Rack because I was watching Amina Coco's vlog, not her vlog, her collective try on haul. And she was saying how she went to Nordstrom Rack and they had skims. And I said, oh, work. I used to actually work in White Plains. I used to work at the Abercrombie Kids. And also when I was studying for my CPA, <laughs> huge CBT, I used to take um, in-person classes to prep for my exam over there, so. Um, I'm like familiar with that area and I like that Starbucks. So I'm going to go there and yeah. So I'm going to go do my do for the evening and I'll check in with you guys later when I'm packing my bag or tomorrow morning. And yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, why am I so close? It's Saturday, November 20th. Yeah, it's November 20th, Saturday. Um, I told you guys yesterday that I want to go to Roger Mac and a Starbucks to like sit and do work. So that's exactly what I'm about to do. But before I start anything, I need to order a new external, external, external hard drive because mine is currently full and Vlogmas is coming up and I don't have time for none of that. So let me order that now. And I'm going to show you guys which external hard drive I like to use. Because this is the same one I've been using from the beginning of time. And it has the Never Let Me Zone. Oh. September 8th was the last time I ordered one. And it's now November 20th. Oh, now I'm putting the price up. Um, what is it giving? It used to be $60. Now it's $64. I'm complaining like I'm still not going to have to buy it. But one day and free returns. Free delivery tomorrow. Bye now. Okay, so this is the external hard drive that I like to use. I will have a link down below. And as always, it's always in my Amazon shop. So this is it. I get the 2 terabyte. Because the one terabyte is enough, and then the four to five terabyte, I feel like it's too much. Because God forbid something happens and I lose everything on the external, like a drop, shockwave, whatever the case is, I would have only lost two terabytes of stuff instead of four, if that makes sense. So I think that makes sense. It makes sense to me. So that's all that matters. But yes, 
I got them new pillow Palo. Why can I not speak this morning? I got those new pillows in my last vlog. And it low-key may have been a mistake because baby, I've been sleeping too good. <laughs> I've been sleeping too good. I've been sleeping so good that I couldn't even wake up this morning to work out. So I'm definitely going to have to work out when I get back because I missed yesterday and your girl's not trying to look like an Oompa Loompa. So yeah, I'm going to have to work out when I get back. But those pillows, baby, those bed beauty rest pillows, they knew what they was doing by calling them beauty rest because I'll be knocked out. And what else I have to tell y'all? I'm in a way better mood today. So hopefully that's, that's the whole day. I'm ready to get my life together. Together, together. What I had to tell y'all is that I experienced or I'm in the process of experiencing my first charge back. So you guys know that I sell items from my closet on Depop. I love me some Depop. been using Depop for years. And I sold a young lady a bag. It was a brand new Zara bag, tags still on it and everything. It was a small yellow croc belt bag, but you could also use it as like a shoulder bag. Cute, cute bag. But I was just like, I'm not going to wear it. I haven't worn it since I purchased it. So let me just sell it. I sold it for $13, which I don't think was bad because the original price was $25. And it was a never worn before tag still on it. Boom. So... Um, I shipped the bag. The bag was purchased October 11th, right? Let me tell y'all the timeline so y'all can understand, like, <laughs> why I'm like, girl, what is you doing? So she purchased the bag on October 11th. I shipped the bag on October 12th, and the bag was delivered on October 14th, right? So after she bought the bag, because she just bought it. She didn't message me or anything. She just bought it. So I brought her. I said, hi, love. Thanks for purchasing it. I don't be shipped tomorrow, which it was. She said, thank you so much, boo. She even had the nerve to call me boo. So when I shipped it, I said, hi, your item has to ship. It can be tracked via shipping information in the Depop app. I said, she said, you're the best. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that happened. And, you know, I didn't hear from you because you have your bag. I have my money. There's nothing further to discuss. On November 14th, I received an email that a case was open in a resolution center for a chargeback. Miss Mamas wanted to claim that she was charged twice for her purchase. Mind you, if you guys aren't familiar with Depop, when you buy something through Depop, like as a customer, like Depop does all the back end transaction. The seller doesn't have to do anything besides connect their PayPal account. And what happens is that once the customer makes the sale, the system is set up that the customer receives 100% of the money, which includes the item price plus shipping. And then Depop, like the system will push the shipping amount and Depop's fee to them. So you're only left with your percent. Hopefully that makes sense. So, I don't have anything to do with you being charged twice. If you were charged twice, you take that up with Depop. So, I responded to the claim. I attached my screenshots, everything, boom, boom, boom. So, I responded in the resolution center. And then, yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, I received an update on the case that basically she went to her financial institution to get her money back. So, they basically took that money back from my paypal account so i'm like let me write depop because this isn't this can't be the first time that this is happening so i entered a claim with depop for them to do what they gotta do because it's only 13 dollars. like i'm not even upset at the 13 dollars. like you can have the 13 dollars because at this point i'm just like it's not that serious. But it's the fact that you came back a whole month later saying that you were charged twice. Like, did you just realize that you were charged $13 twice? I don't I don't get it. So, yeah. I'm just like, once this year is over, I'm not using Depop anymore. And once this year is over, God willing, I'm going to have my own platform to do my closet sales. Because this, this is not it. This is a very much so ghetto. But, yeah. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you're a business owner or you sell, like stuff on apps have you ever experienced a chargeback let me know what your experience was down below so that y'all could probably help me out if anything but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finally take these twists out my hair because i feel like they turned into locks at this point girl they not but <laughs> and oh 
<laughs> and I'll check in with y'all while I'm about to leave the house. We might just, might just do with the reasons why we And secret, secret bowls, gotta keep it honest, honest I love me a little karaoke, I just be in my room singing, singing, singing But here's my hair I took my twist down I, the video for this would have been uploaded before this vlog So make sure y'all check it out so y'all could see my hair details this is my signature twist out but i'm about to pack my bag now so that i can head out the door so let's go ahead and pack my bag i'm so upset i don't have a space to prop y'all up anymore mm, hold on so the bag i'm going to carry with me is my gray telfar bag this is the medium gray telfar bag this is like my errands i need to just throw everything in a bag type of bag so currently in am i'm gonna show y'all my little work bag packation is this mask clean or dirty i'm gonna get dirty so in it right now i have my my laneige lip balm because if my lips are trapped i cannot think i have my hand sanitizer my germax I have a lotion because my hands be getting dry from using all that hand sanitizer. My Jergens lotion. Um, oh, I have a backup lip balm just in case. I have my Eden lip balm. Boom. And then I have my noise canceling headphones. I hope they're charged. These are, ooh, not me about to break them, babes. These are my Sony headphones. Love these. So I found this Dior dust bag. This is from my um my sandals. And I'm just gonna use this for my headphones because I don't know where the dust bag that my headphones came with went. But look, perfect. So I'm gonna put that in here. I have some wet ones. Just because. And um that's it in here right now. But what am I going to add? I'm going to add my iPad, my iPad charger, iPad keyboard, my keys, some masks, masks, ma how do you say masks plural, masks. <laughs> I like to bring my little notebook, so I'm going to bring my little YouTube notebook. I had the same notebook for years, y'all. Let me see if I can see the first page. 2018. 2018. Let me show y'all. 2018 was the first time I wrote in this notebook. This is my YouTube notebook. I love it. I got this from TJ Maxx. And a pen. I need to bring my wallet, of course. I'm going to pack my Kinesthetic phone, but it needs to charge. My portable charger, my charging cord, and a block just in case I need to put it in the outlet. And I think that's about it because I'm literally going, like, I'm not staying long. And, oh, I need my water bottle. Hold on. Guys, I've been doing something new. Well, new for me at least. <laughs> if y'all know, y'all know. I am checking the location, not the location, the temperature before I leave the house. So it says higher 47, which calls for my long johns. I like these long johns from Uniglow. These are their Heat Tech Extra Warm Leggings in a size small. I like to put these under my sweatpants and I'm going to put it on. I am going to put on my MB New York sweatsuit. You guys seen this? two vlogs ago when i did that photo shoot but this sweatsuit i have not been able to take it off so yeah let me go ahead and get dressed i'm trying to export my video but for some reason it keeps failing and i've had longer videos and i have space so i don't know what it's given but i'm going to restart my computer export it onto a memory card leave that going as i leave because i cannot wait any longer and then i'll figure it out once i get home but yeah let me go it's so weird having to wear a coat i mean like it's november but like just having to put on a coat is just beyond me vacation me please but today's fragrance is going to be what do i feel like smelling like i'm gonna put on my zara woman gold oh mm. mm -mm -mm -mm. 
smelling like greatness. That's what we need today. That's the energy we need today. Ooh, what if I mix it with Ebony Wood? Mm -hmm. I'm on to something, babes. Mm. I'm spraying my friggin' coat instead of my wrist. Like, the combo. Chef's kiss. But I'm gonna head out now, so I'll see y'all once I get to my destination. Okay, so I just got to White Plains. I look crazy. I'm about to go to a Nordstrom Rack real quick. It's cold outside, so you brought skedaddling. <laughs> So I'm in Target. They have the Ulta Beauty in this one. But I'm just a little confused. I'm about to show y'all why. Thank for the tour. Just gotta keep enough lettuce to support your shoe. Fetish lifestyle so rich and famous. Robin Lee took it. Jealous half a million for the store. Take a trip from here to so i'm home now i had such a productive day i got so much done so i didn't really vlog that much because i was working okay your girl was putting in that work but as i told you guys in the previous clip when i was in target i was confused because i was in Ulta browsing around when i pulled up the security that was in front of Ulta was just in his phone so i walked around him and i went to go look at juvia's place and as soon as he seen me he's like literally behind me i hear somebody saying excuse me and i'm like i'm not in the way He's on my tail feather. So I'm like, let me put my vlogging camera on. And as soon as I click the power button on my camera, he vanished. I'm just like, but I'm home now. I got so much done. My face is still peeling. I don't know if I told you on this vlog that I got a chemical peel done last week. So it's still peeling. Not that much. I do have to record videos tomorrow. So I'm going to put makeup on for the first time since getting it. So that's what's going on i'm trying to upload the sunday vlog it keeps failing to export so i'm trying to try different things now it's 5 45 so hopefully i can have it up by tonight so yeah um from target i got oh i finally found a follow your heart parmesan cream cheese not cream cheese cheese let me show y'all so i finally found the follow your heart cheese this one and i also got 
these little shorts from Target. These are so cute. And it has... I thought I had a pocket. Oh, that's, does it have pockets? Or is it just... Yeah. Does it have a pocket? Oh, it do have pockets. <laughs> but I got these little shorts from Target. So cute. I didn't like the sweater they had to go with. It was just like a pullover sweater. I'm just like, y'all can keep the sweater. Just give me the shorts. But yeah, so... I'm about to go to my do and I'll check in with you guys later or tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow because tomorrow I need to do my makeup. I have to record like an outfits video. You guys would have seen it already. So it's going to be a collaboration I'm doing with Nasty Gal. So I need to like sell some outfits and um do my little video. You guys really, really like the one where I style my Bottega boots. So I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to do something a little similar, but I'm going to change it up a bit. You know what I'm saying? So, I need to record that in the morning so that Kim can help me. And then, um, screen protector on my phone. So, I was telling you guys early in the vlog the whole screen protector fiasco. This is the screen protectors that I like to use. These super shields. I'll have them linked down below. But these, people always compliment and like, what screen protector do you have on your phone? Because it has, like, a nice matte kind of like powderish feel to it i don't like the glossy screen protectors because it just doesn't do it for me so i don't know if you guys will be able to see but it's like a nice matte screen protector and it's not temper glass they have a temper glass option but i don't like temper glass so if y'all like temper glass they have an option for y'all but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and finish what i have to do for the day and good morning happy sunday sunday november 21st i want to say yes the 21st i just woke up did my makeup let my hair down and this is how we look in a period so this morning i'm going to record a like winter lookbook type thing and also my expected Black Friday sales, which you guys would have already seen both of those videos because they're going to be up before this vlog. So if you guys didn't, make sure y'all check them out. And I showed you guys on my IG stories how I put my hair to go to sleep and how I took it down this morning. It still needs some work. But yeah, yeah, I get the point. Hair looking the freak good, okay? And as I mentioned, I did record this hair look. It is Friday's video, so you guys would have seen that already too. Look at me getting my videos too together period but i'm about to lay out my outfits now so that i could just boom 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 switch 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 record 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 and come back inside so let me get to work and also this is the pajamas that you guys saw me pick up from forever 21 in last week's vlog it looks good right okay guys so i'm back i just finished recording my video i cannot wait for you guys to see i can't wait to edit it the looks so I'm going to do a series of winter lookbooks on my channel. I want them to be like kind of like short and digestible. I don't want it to be like too overwhelming. And I also want to show an array of looks within each lookbook. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys watch Wednesday's video, let me know what y'all thought down below in the comments of this vlog or that video. Let me know. Do y'all want to see more? Are you guys excited? Let me know what's tea. And by the way, this lippy is Fruit Snacks Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream. But, yeah, I need to go. I just got a package from Zara. I'm also going to do a winter um, a winter collective haul. So, that will be coming during Vlogmas. So, you guys can definitely look forward to that. But, let me go and clean up my room. Because, y'all know, content days, the room is a mess. Hey, y'all. So, I'm going through my Zara package. I'm not going to show you guys on the vlog. Because I told you guys I'm going to do that collective haul. But, I wanted to share this packaging of this lip oil. Like... I've never seen a packaging like, look, this Lux for a lip oil. It's like a rumbus with the, with the bevel text. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, Zara Beauty. I'm in such a good mood today. I really don't know what it is, but I'm in a good mood and I'm happy about that. But I have to wait for my external hard drive to come from Amazon to start editing videos for this week because I just realized how I'm at it if I don't have no space. How? It's lighting. But yeah, so that's what's going on right now. That's what's going on right now. And um, I'm hungry, so I have to figure out what I'm going to eat. But my hair looks good. Like, 
hey y'all today is a monday november 22nd and i just wanted to come on here real quick because i won't be vlogging on here for today or tomorrow because i'm getting ready for my why did i put that under my lip do i not know where my lip is <laughs> but today and tomorrow i'm gonna be getting ready for my vlogmas intro shoot so that's gonna be a separate video you guys know i upload that as the first video of vlogmas so that vlog will be uploaded on december 1st this vlog is going up the 29th so you guys will see that on wednesday yeah you guys will see vlogging from today and tomorrow on wednesday so make sure you guys tune into that my mouth just looks so freaking oily but I got this lip oil from Zara and I actually really really like it. I feel like it makes my lips feel nice and buttery soft. So if you guys are looking for a new lip oil, y'all just like trying lip products, try this from Zara. It was like $10 and it's the Nourishing Jelly Decad Decadent? Decadent Lip Oil. So yeah, I'm going to get off of this vlog and go back on the other vlog. So... I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday, November 25th, and it's Thanksgiving. Before we even start off with today's part of the vlog, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm thankful for each and every one of you guys. I'm thankful for your continuous support. I'm thankful for your kind words. I'm thankful for just having this platform where I can connect with each and every one of you guys and all of that okay all of that and all of that so yes happy thanksgiving i'm thankful for all of you guys make sure you guys are gonna see this video after thanksgiving but make sure that you guys take the time to express people to people who you're thankful for that you're thankful for them not just on thanksgiving but every day so yes thanksgiving it's gonna be my first thanksgiving not eating me so your girl gotta cook for herself i don't know what i'm gonna make i'm gonna make something quick easy and to the point because I'm not really like versed in making a lot of dishes. So I'm going to just make me something simple to eat. It's no biggie. So the last time you guys saw me on the vlog was the day I was prepping for my Vlogmas intro shoot. You guys, <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Vlogmas prep this year has been cutting my ass up. Clipping it up. Okay. Right now. I feel hurt. I look hurt. My back is on fire. Like, but I'm off from work today and tomorrow, and then Saturday and Sunday, of course. I'm gonna use this weekend to really prep for Vlogmas, um, pre-record videos, pre-edit videos, and all of that. Yeah. So first order business today. I need to wash my hair because I still listen. It's still yucky from the other day, so I have to wash my hair and style my hair in some type of way. I think I might just do like. A low bump for today and then do a twist off for later on like the next few days i don't know i'm trying to figure it out now but i'm definitely going to be prepping for vlogmas this weekend recording a bunch of videos and then like starting to edit and then whatever i don't have time to edit i'll edit like during vlogmas it won't be that big of a deal but me having them recorded is going to be a huge help for me so yes i cannot wait for you guys to see vlogmas this year like <laughs> and as far as black friday and cyber monday i did do a video for you guys last week where i was sharing like expected sales and my wish list and stuff like that i honestly haven't ordered that many things yet but it's still not black friday but a lot of brands are starting their sales early because i just feel like nobody wants to get lost in the sauce so i haven't what did i order from my order from sephora but it wasn't even a sale it was just like some makeup that i wanted so i was like let me just go ahead and buy it so that i can have it for vlogmas because in case y'all don't know sephora's shipping buys my last order from the sale saying that it's not coming until december 5th and i need stuff in that order for a video early in vlogmas but i'm just trying to play it day by day if i need to move things around i'm gonna move things around but i was just like i ordered half a month ago sephora like I don't know but i'm gonna go ahead and wash this here and then i will be back i just recorded my um shower body care self-care routine i feel so freaking good i look so freaking good period skin glistening and all of that so make sure you guys watch that video when it drops tomorrow the day after this vlog is posted mm -hmm. your girl is feeling 
buttery soft period but what do i have to do i, I ordered from skimmed and they didn't really have like much of what i really wanted on sale so i just ordered like three things i got another bra so i don't know if y'all know but your girl only has one bra well had one bra because i got a second one and now i ordered a third one so your girl's about to have three bras i went from one to three in a week <laughs> but i don't really wear bras often i don't know if you guys realize but i'm like it doesn't make sense for me to have a million bras if i never wear them right so yeah your girl has upgraded to three bras now i gave myself a wax and oil i'm feeling like a whole brand new bitch busting bitch. i'm about to work on some videos and clean my room because it's a mess it's been a mess since monday so i need to get it together and today's really a work day so i don't know if i'm really gonna be on here like that but we are for thanksgiving we're just staying home like my immediate family so let me show you guys what my mom has cooking up okay so she has the roast going she made some pasta sauce meat situation for the lasagna i don't know what this is for and then the showstopper the oxtails the oxtails are good oxies and then she got some chicken up here. Good old chicken. So yeah, that's what she made so far. She's still cooking. Y'all know my mother, a big M does not play when it comes to cooking. So she's still working. But um how many of you guys, I don't know if it's just you if it was just me growing up, but on Thanksgiving Day when food was being prepped the night before and the day of, I was not allowed to be in the kitchen. I was not allowed to fix my tongue to even ask what time we were eating because that was just considered disrespectful i don't know if i'm the only person or if you guys can relate to if it's a caribbean thing but yeah so let me get to work and i will check in with you guys later Good morning. It's Friday, November 26th. Yeah, the 26th. It's Black Friday. And all morning, I've been getting my video that I uploaded today, my signature twist out routine. I've been getting that together. Like, you know, description box ads, all of that. And I've been shopping online. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I've been shopping online. So I placed an order on Best Buy because they had amazing deals on memory cards. I posted on my IG stories. I don't know if it'll still be active by the time this vlog goes up. But I will definitely link it down below if it's still there. Um, they have this memory card that's usually $150 bucks and it's $55. Like, and it's 256 gigabytes. And it's the black SD card. The one that gives you the good quality. So I had to get one of those. But they only had in-store pickup options which i'm not mad at like just give it to me for the price <laughs> tell me where i gotta go tell me where i gotta be let me know where you want to meet <laughs> i'm about to place my order for asos right now but i wanted to show y'all this is i was like oh my god i have not been picking up my vlogging camera it's dying of course as soon as i pick it up right but let me show you guys this real quick so i'm ordering from asos and in case you guys don't know i'm obsessed with asos so i have the premiere shipping situation so i get free next day free express free standard but they have this option i guess this is like for black friday on their sales that if you do no hurry delivery you get 20 percent off your next order so i'm selecting this for these three items because these are just things that i'm getting to get i don't need them like quick fast and in a hurry so am i blocking my mic <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna select this for this and you guys i got i didn't get so many things i got a jacket tight shorts and a hat for 151 bucks like what this is a great buy yeah the sales y'all they've been getting me like my whole paycheck that i'm expecting next week is gone <laughs> so let me tell you guys where i ordered from i ordered from asos 
I ordered from, oh, let me see how much this is. I ordered from ASOS Best Buy, PC Richard. I got my mom my Apple TV. Um, I ordered from H&M, Zara. I placed two orders on Zara. I ordered from Skims. I'm just afraid to look at my, my balances because why am I shopping like I'm a drug dealer? I'm spending money like I'm a drug dealer and it makes no sense to me. I ordered from Sephora. I don't know if I told you guys, but it's just like regular stuff. It was nothing really on sale, but it was just stuff that I wanted. I twisted my hair up this morning too. You guys saw I had that slick bun yesterday and I just did a twist out on top of it. So I don't know how it's going to come out because I already had product on my hair. So we just going to hope and pray because I want to record some content later. I want to like start recording for Vlogmas, like pre-recording content. So I'm going to work on that today a little later, but I didn't eat anything yet. So I'm about to go eat something and I will check in with you guys later. Hey guys, oh, I'm so close. What is it giving? So I'm about to get ready to record my videos and I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to do my makeup a little differently today. I'm not going to record it. I'm just going to like take notes. And then I want to do like um some type of makeup look during Vlogmas to show you guys like the things that I change and the new products that I'm trying. Because I order so many things but they haven't came yet. So that's what's going on. So I'm about to get this face together. And I'll be back to show you guys the finish i still have this bitch my hair came out so good for a same day twist out i still have to like open it up a bit but like what i am in love with these results and this was like i did my twist out at like 11 and it's currently two so yeah but i did my makeup i don't know how i really feel about it yet so we will see. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to see. But I'm going to go to eat something and then start recording. So I'll check in with you guys once I'm done recording. Y'all, I have not recorded a sit down video in so long with like all of my equipment. So this just feels weird. I don't like I literally didn't even know what my camera was. So it's time to my bed. I got to go dig her out. But I decided to store my my big like ADD camera in my camera bag. I got this from Target some time ago. It says Canon. It was on sale for like $15 or $20. But in here I have my mic, my lens. Can y'all see that? My mic, my lens, and my camera. But yeah, I have all of my equipment in here. So I'm going to go ahead and set everything up. This is so weird to me. I really hope I remember how to do the settings on this camera. I've really just been recording on my Canon M50. So all my vlogs are on that camera. My bathroom videos have been on that camera. And a lot of the videos I've been posting recently have been, they're like pre-recorded videos. So yeah, I haven't really created content in so long, but I told you guys I am bulk recording for vlogmas so we get into it okay we get into it period yeah i gotta remember how to turn my mic on the right way do a audio check make sure i have a memory card in here which i do not oh the memory card that's supposed to be in here is in my vlogging camera so i'm gonna see you guys once i'm done because i need this memory card <laughs> okay so i just finished recording one part for my collective haul so i'm gonna record like the try on segment later in the day tomorrow so i'm just gonna put everything together for now so that i could just boom 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 put them on take them off but you guys prepping for vlogmas is a lot like low-key i wish i started earlier but at the same time i had to make sure that i completed my november duties hold on let me take this but i wanted to make sure that i completed my november duties by posting mondays wednesdays fridays and sundays in november and then getting started with vlogmas i was not slacking off at the end of november because september and october i was like you know a little inconsistent with the posting but now i'm like i need to get it together so yeah, I made sure I finished November. I'm about to edit my last video for November. And 
yeah so i'm gonna close out the vlog here honestly because i don't want it to be too long last week's vlog was a little long and i want to like have it edited and uploaded and posted sunday at 12 p.m noon so that's about it for this vlog you guys saw me get my nails done you guys saw me do my black friday shopping you guys saw thanksgiving you guys saw me do my work day like go out the house and do work at a cafe i guess you can say I showed you guys what I put in my work bag and all of that. So you guys saw a good amount. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below with your thoughts, comments, questions, opinions. Comment and let me know what your favorite part of this vlog was. Comment and let me know, are you guys excited for Vlogmas? What are you guys excited to see from me this Vlogmas year? Let me know down below. And until my next video, which will actually be tomorrow, Monday, I'll see you guys later. Mwah.